Hello friends, today we are going to be looking at irrigation. Irrigation may sound like a complex term, but it's simply the supply of water to land or crops to encourage plant growth. Irrigation can be natural, it can be artificial. Natural irrigation is simply, you know, supply of water to plants naturally. That's true rainfall when it rains and rains directly on the land that's what is referred to as natural irrigation but for artificial irrigation is the supply of water to crops through artificial means like different kinds of irrigation systems and we have the drip irrigation system we have surface irrigation we have sprinkler irrigation. We even have manual irrigation. For the manual irrigation is the traditional method of water supply to plants, especially during the dry season or on dry days. For manual irrigation system, it has to do with the use of materials like watering can, hose, and a lot of buckets. You can use buckets, get water from any water source around you and apply and supply water to your plants. That's manual irrigation system. For drip irrigation system, most farmers prefer the drip irrigation system. That's because it's very effective. It supplies water directly to the root system. It conserves water. Less water is used in the course of irrigation is also not labor intensive the, the farmer saves time and the farmer is able to supply water enough water to the plants directly drip irrigation also prevents nutrient leaching because water is supplied directly to the point where it is needed we have the sprinkler irrigation system where water is supplied under high pressure overhead over the plant above the plant why that is also a method used by some farmers and of course it works for a good number of farmers the major drawback of that um, irrigation system is that it promotes disease spread as water splashes on infected plants you know it can easily spread the disease to other plants other healthy plants we also have the surface irrigation system for surface irrigation system water is supplied like flooded on the land under low pressure this is also good it works in some area but it also can promote disease spread let's look at the different tools employed in the different irrigation tools for manual irrigation i'd already mentioned that you could use irrigation cans or watering cans you could use buckets you could use hose to water manually where you can get water from either wells around you your borehole lakes just any water supply available to you you get water and then you water your plants manually for the drip irrigation system you need to set up the system you may not need to do it yourself you can get an expert to set it up for you but then you need the materials like the drip tape you need the pump you need your borehole you have the sprinkler irrigation system for the sprinkler irrigation system you need first of all the sprinkler you need the pump that will supply water under pressure and then you need some pipes once that is ready you're good to go with your sprinkler irrigation system for the surface irrigation you need basically pipes or hose that you can use to flood the whole land with water just under low pressure those are basically the things you need to set up your irrigation system now let's look at some common errors that farmers employ during irrigation basically there are two we have overwatering and we have underwatering let's start with underwatering one benefit of artificial supply of water to plants is to prevent underwatering so that your plants don't suffer drought they don't suffer water stress when there is no water available 
so it's best to supply water to your plants in the mornings and in the evenings on dry days whenever it rains you may not need to water your plants depending on the intensity of the rain but when it doesn't rain it's best to water your plants in the morning and in the evening give your plants controlled amount of water that will enable them thrive and thrive very well another problem that some farmers face is overwatering. sometimes when they notice that the plant is stressed already possibly because they skipped watering they now overwater the plant overwatering can be very detrimental to plants just as underwatering. overwatering can result to water logging and when the when the land is waterlogged it can breed fungal diseases it can cause the the nutrient leaching it can cause plants to also wilt and um, suffer from yellowing and other you know diseases that are common that are waterborne and that are spread through water artificial irrigation system is is very important in crop cultivation the importance cannot be overemphasized however one major drawback is the cost, the initial cost of setup. While many farmers will want to use the artificial irrigation system, they find that the cost is usually very, very expensive. So whichever irrigation method you want to use that is cost effective for you, please go ahead and employ it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. See you next time. Thank you.